I've been a marketer for 15 years and the past three I've been using AI a lot. And my go-to tool has always been Claude because it has so much better copywriting than any of the other AI tools out there. But today I'm showing you why I'm no longer on their pro plan and instead I have now switched over to Google Gemini to do all of my daily tasks. I still have some use for Claude but I'm not using any of the plans here. Instead I'm still using their API of it. And I'll show you how exactly later in the video. And I'm also using GenSpark because it's so much better with agentic workflows. So what does it all mean and why did I switch to Gemini? I'll tell you right away. So basically Google launched Gemini 3. Gemini 3.0, it's now officially out. And usually I don't want to fall for the AI hype because it's not worth the time. But honestly, this time it's worth it. So Gemini 3 is actually really good at daily tasks that I used to do with Claude. And it also has really good image generation. And I can show you the exact video I'm doing here. Gemini was able to do this mind map just based on my video notes. So this is all coming up. And I'll quickly show you what things are similar to Claude. So for example, in Claude, I used to use this general chat interface face for daily quick questions, for example. And I can do, of course, the same with Google Gemini. So I can just start a new chat. But what I really like about it here is that I can use this temporary chat option as well, because sometimes I just want to use it as like my go to Google replacement. And I don't want these quick searches to be on my chat history here. So this temporary search is a really good feature that I love. And I'm using this a lot. And also in Claude, I could set up projects. Of course, you can do it with custom GPTs and with the other AI tools as well. And in Google's Gemini, these are called uh, gems. So basically I can create the new gem, which has custom instructions. And I can also add some knowledge here. So I can upload files. I can add them from my Google Drive. I can also add my photos here or import code. So I can build the knowledge base up specific instructions. And then I have these really specific projects that I can start chatting with. For example, I have created a personal coach who is helping me through some mental blockers, for example, and another gem that is helping me with video ideas and scripts and another one that has all the context and information about my day job and helps me create marketing materials for that as well. So basically it works the same way as Claude did with this uh, general interface. I think the outputs with Claude, of course, were a little bit better. I think Gemini is a bit more robotic in the style. For example, here in the settings, you can have instructions for Gemini and you could just say, I prefer a specific type of uh, writing style. And by the way, if you want to have mine that I'm using all the time in AI Marketing Master, com this is my private community there is this really big prompt that i'm using in all of my ai automations as well which is making ai sound a bit more like a human so you could use this one here for example so the outputs would sound a bit more better in gemini as well but overall claude is the best ai tool for copywriting but if they are so similar then the question is why should i pay for claude 24 dollars per month if i can use the same things with google gemini for free yeah it's a good question and that's why i cancelled the subscription and that's it's not because I don't want to pay for AI tools. I am eagerly paying for tools that help me. But in this case, for the general AI interface, it doesn't make sense to pay for Claude if I have similar things available for me free in Gemini. But also Gemini now has these additional features. The image generation is so much better, as you saw with this mind map that I created here. It also does videos. And although I'm really skeptical about AI image generation and video generation because it doesn't add any trust. It uh, kind of makes everything look fake. I am beginning to see some use cases where maybe I could start using them because the image generation has really improved. And also something new that Gemini 3 does really well is the fact that you can add a video file here and ask it to analyze it. And Gemini 3 is able to do it frame by frame. So up until now, I've been using my own video first workflows. And if you've been a fan of this channel, you know that I have this really big uh, content repurposing automation set up. And I'm always using scrapers like Appify to get the transcript of the video. And then I'm using this transcript to create different types of content, like a blog post, newsletter, LinkedIn post, uh, LinkedIn carousels, and so on. So I'm always using the transcript. But with Gemini 3, you can now ask AI to analyze every frame. And it also gets the visual context now. So I think there are many more use cases for me, and I still have to explore them. And I'll do another video later on about this. But there is so much more potential of getting my thumbnail concepts made 
made by Gemini, adding automatic chapter timestamps and so on. And I could also let Gemini analyze my latest videos. What could have been done better? Are there any editing mistakes, for example? So the potential is pretty big if you are video first marketer, which of course I hope you are. But for now, I'm still using my content systems uh, created in make.com and triggered in Airtable. And as I said, I'm using a transcript with this, but here is where I'm still using Claude and I will still keep using it. So in these gray modules here, these are actually open router modules. So open router is a really cool service where you can just buy some credits and you get access to all of the AI models out there. So for example, Claude has all of these models here as well. And if you're creating automations in make.com or Zapier or whatever, then you can use open router connections and you can have your prompts here. And uh, for example, the system prompt is the content humanizing prompt that I showed you earlier. And the model here is Claude Sonnet 4.5. So this is my go-to model still with content creation, content repurposing automations. But as you can see, I could switch it up really quickly. So I will still take advantage of Claude's really good copywriting style, uh, but only with this content repurposing workflows. For daily tasks, I will keep using Google Gemini and I will keep exploring what other options are out there. And I also like the potential of this being connected to Google's ecosystem. I am using Google's products every day. So it seems that once I really embrace this and connect everything, I can do so much more with this AI. Up until now, I've been really careful not to connect my Gmail or my Google Calendar to any of the AI tools because the data that I have there is so valuable to me. So I can't have it leaked anywhere. Uh, uh, but I'm thinking that with Gemini, I might actually give it a go and start taking advantage of all of these features. And that's just because I'm using all of these Google tools already in my everyday work. And I'm just hoping that with their own AI, they will keep it secure for me. But there is another use case that neither Claude or Gemini can do well for me. And this is using AI agents to scrape some data from different sites, for example, competitors, and put this data into a spreadsheet for me. And this is a use case that I use GenSpark.ai for. So GenSpark is really good at doing these AI sheets. And I really like it when I need to do some competitor research. So I can ask, uh, find top five competitors in AI marketing education space and get all their pricing and packaging info into the spreadsheet. And so with Spark, it now creates these agents that not just search the web, but they actually go on the sites. They scrape the information on their pricing pages, on their product pages, and that information gets added to this AI spreadsheet. And then I can uh, do whatever I want with the spreadsheet. Usually I just export it and start using it from my own analysis. Uh, but sometimes I keep analyzing it within these tools. But I feel like Spark is the perfect tool for this uh, because the agent actually does work for me in a really specific and useful way. I've actually used this workflow a lot. Uh, but if I wanted to do something similar with Claude, there actually isn't the workflow for this. And with Google Gemini, I found that I then have to upgrade to this Google AI Ultra plan. And the agents are only available in US right now. And also this plan costs hundreds of dollars, as you can see. So with GenSpark, I only have to pay $25 per month and I can get lots of credits. And actually they have lots of other features as well. So basically, I could use AI image generation with Nano Banana Pro here with this subscription. I can use different uh, AI models here. So actually it does give me access to OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, all of the models. So even though I'm using GenSpark mostly to get the scraped information from these agents and to create these spreadsheets for me, this already makes the subscription worth it for me. But as you can see, you can do so much more with the same tool. So I feel like GenSpark is one of those AI tools that is really undervalued and underappreciated. So you should definitely check it out. And as you can see, the agents have done their job and it has created the spreadsheet with the pricing and packaging information for me. And it figured out all of the information that I might need. It scraped all of those websites and found the correct information for me. Of course, I can go in and double check everything to make sure it's actually correct. But this is my favorite use case with an AI agent. And this is the reason why I pay for GenSpark. And if you sign up, you can also get some free credits so you don't have to start paying for it right away. But overall, 
all, this then means that I'm only paying $25 per month to get access to Genspark and I'm not paying anything for Google Gemini anymore, but I am using this for my daily tasks. And with Open Router, I'm having access to Claude for my automations. I'm usually uploading about $10 every few months or so, and I'm not running out of these credits that quickly. So it's definitely way more cheaper than using Claude's monthly pricing with the chat interface. So if you want to get the AI humanizing prompt that I mentioned, come join me at AIMarketingMessage.com and I hope that this video was helpful. See you next week. Bye.